Good morning. My name is Joe Griffin. I'm the city manager for the city of Sebastian. It is uh, about 9.25 in the morning of September 7th, 2017. You may be seeing this in the afternoon. So uh, if you're watching this the afternoon, the evening, good afternoon or good evening as appropriate. We wanted to give you um, Hurricane Irma updates and what our plan is, is to give you these updates about every six or so hours and then as we get closer to the storm impacting Sebastian we will bring those updates uh, maybe down to about four hours. I am here with our chief of police Michelle Morris. Our audiovisual staff is doing the technicals for this. I want to thank them very much and uh, we want to give you some updates right uh, of where we are right now uh, today and what we've accomplished so far. Uh, on Tuesday at two o'clock, we had our management team meeting in the city of Sebastian and we, we enacted our emergency management plan. I have documents signed from uh, the governor of the state of Florida, Rick Scott, declaring a state of emergency for Florida, and also documents from uh, our mayor, Bob McPartland, declaring a local state of emergency for Sebastian and what uh, that authorizes the city manager to do is certain things through emergency orders that uh, depending on the severity of the storm that we might have to do as time goes on. We'll be watching that. It's a fluid situation obviously. We'll be watching that as time goes on. So what I'd like to do this morning to kick things off is to give you uh, a little bit of a weather update and how this how these things uh, progress and perhaps what we can expect. First of all, from my aviation days, I remember uh, how weather works and really this is all about pressure and wind direction and things like that. But a tropical cyclone is a, low, a huge low pressure area and in low pressures, wind travels counterclockwise around a low. Remember in a high, it travels just the opposite, uh, clockwise. And you all hear on television, weather channel or or Steve Weagle on Channel 5, whatever it is, that uh, the Bermuda High sits off way off in the state of Florida over top Bermuda and directs a lot of these storms and things like that. And these tropical cyclones are left turning like this, counterclockwise motion. And I want to talk about where the worst part of the storm is and where maybe things aren't so bad. So let's say that we have this we have this storm and the longitudinal axis of this storm is northwest bound. This is northwest, southeast, okay, northwest bound. Or let's say it's east to west. It's, here's west over here, here's east. The storm is proceeding this way. The worst part of that storm is from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock, all right? So you've got Think of it as a little, a little clock here. So here's the 12, here's the three, clock here, here's the 12, here's the three. The worst part of that storm is in this quadrant, right here, okay? Right there, that's the worst part of the storm. When they talk about uh, winds are uh, uh, 100 knots or 100 miles an hour, uh, that's that's in the worst part of the storm on that north northeast quadrant of that storm, but it doesn't matter which way the storm is traveling. It's that 12 to 3 o'clock position, and once and remember it's a low in the tropical cyclone, winds diminish, they fall off here, and they pick up here to the 12 and 3. So we're going to be watching that. Think of what happened to us last year with with uh, Hurricane Matthew. This is a, a bad picture of the state of Florida, but it's the only one I have. We were approximately right here, and uh, Matthew tracked up past the Bahamas, tracked up this way, and uh, remember the clock. Here's the 12, here's the 3, here's that quadrant, that bad quadrant. We were on the backside, on the west side of the hurricane. Uh, that gave us a little bit of a brush. We still had winds up to 90 miles an hour, but uh, we fared pretty well. It would be nice if it happened this time, but we can't plan on that. So, remember that as we go further on into this weekend, 
and we see what the actual track is, we'll be able to get you a better understanding of where this might go. So with that and all this bad art I have up here, I'm going to turn some things over to uh, uh, our Chief of Police, Michelle Morris. She's going to give you the Emergency Operations Center response, what we're doing uh, here in the city with regard to safety and things like that. Michelle. Thank you. Good afternoon. First of all, I want to remind everybody to please stay calm and be patient. There is still time to either prepare or to leave. But it's important that we be neighborly and remember everybody is in a panic. The grocery stores are running out of things. The gas stations are running out of gas. We are getting shipments daily. So please be patient and be neighborly like our Sebastian community is used to. A couple of things. For information throughout the storm, starting today, 2 o'clock, make sure you're watching for if you're on social media, Facebook, the City of Sebastian has a Facebook page, as well as the Sebastian Police Department has a Facebook page. We will be updating that as we get updates through the Weather Channel, the Indian River uh, Emergency Services, or through the National Hurricane um, Channel. Couple of the websites, www.sebastianpd.org, that is our police department website, that will have information as well. The Indian River Emergency Management, www.ircs.com. Also, we will have phone lines available for questions and anything that we can pass on to you if you do not have social media or internet access. That number is a local call for Sebastian Vero Beach area. 772-646-7060. That will be our information line. It will be manned 24-7 until this hurricane is over. If you go to voice recording, that just means we're tied up. We will call you back, leave a message. If you are calling the city complaint or compliment line, which is 772-581-0111, that will also be routed to our EOC where you will get a live person or be able to leave a message. Please, this is for Hurricane Irma information or updates or if you have questions about Hurricane Irma, this is not for your regular normal complaints. If you need law enforcement services, obviously if it's a, an emergency, call 911. If it is not an emergency but you need to speak to a police officer or you need someone to come to your residence, 772-589-5233. When you hear the automated system, hit zero or follow the prompts. You can also get update information on Comcast Channel 25 that would be UVerse 99. The county is working diligently with reducing the number of traffic lights. So today and tomorrow, they will be reducing all traffic intersections to one traffic light, one active traffic light. So please use extra caution when you are out driving. This is why we need to stay calm and be patient so no one gets hurt. Stay tuned, stay calm, stay patient, and first of all, be safe. Don't hesitate to give us a call, and we'll see you at the next update. Thank you.